Hi, in this video you'll learn about calling class methods. Okay, as you know, a Java program is composed of one or more classes. Within each class you have the attributes and methods. Right from the beginning you've been working with the main method, which controls the overall flow of the program, running automatically without needing to be called. More recently you've learned how to define and call your own custom methods. These help organize your code and create reusable actions that can be used throughout the program. In fact, there are actually two primary types of custom methods to consider. Class methods and instance methods. Class methods are methods that belong to the class itself and can be called without creating an instance object of the class. You'll dive deeper into working with these methods in this lesson. Instance methods, while also defined in the class, can only be called using the objects that you create from the class. You'll learn more about instance methods in future lessons. Let's look at an example of a class that is similar to what you've already been working with. Here is a class called main class with a main method and a custom method called add numbers. This custom method is an example of a class method because you can call it in the main method without needing to create an object first. The reason you can do this is because of the keyword static in the method signature. All class methods need to have the static keyword. Without it, it'll be an instance method and you'll need to create a new object before you can call it. Up to this point, you have only been working with class methods in your programs. This particular example demonstrates a situation when you have a class method in the same class that is calling it. You can call these methods with just the method name alone. Oftentimes, however, you'll be using multiple classes within your program, and you may want to call a class method from another class. In order to do this, you have to use slightly different syntax. Imagine you have a new class called calculator, and you put your class method add numbers in it. Notice that the method signature hasn't changed. It still has the static keyword in it. All class methods, no matter what class they are in, need to have the static keyword. In order to call this method from any other class than its own, you would need to type calculator.addNumbers with the two arguments, which follows the general pattern for calling class methods of class name dot method name parentheses arguments. This tells the program which class the method is defined in, so that it can call it successfully. Here, the new calculator class is added to a program with the main class. In order to call the addNumbers method from the main class, you use the class method dot notation, calculator.addNumbers, with the two arguments. This tells the program that you are calling the addNumbers method from the calculator class. Pretty easy. After the addNumbers method executes, the program will return to your main class where the method was called and continue forward just like it did when the method was in the same class. Awesome. With this said, let's continue our discussion about why you would want to use methods in your programs, and in particular, class methods. Whether or not you are using them in the same class or a different class, class methods allow you to group related functionality together in one place, making code more organized while reducing redundancy and the chance for errors. And in contrast to instance methods, which you'll learn more about later, class methods can be used without creating objects, which make them perfect for utility or helper methods. Like, for example, here are class methods that calculate the square root of a number, the distance between two points, and the slope of a line between two points. These could be very helpful in a math or science related program and would allow you to perform these calculations throughout your program without having to rewrite or know their formulas every time. One thing to note, now that you are becoming more familiar with defining and calling class methods, you'll start to see more programs that organize the code into multiple classes. Each is stored in its own Java file. In the CodeHS IDE, the left hand column will contain the list of files and classes in your program. The file that is bolded will contain the class that has the main method in it which will execute automatically when the program is run. Now it's your turn to call class methods in your own programs. 